guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a tag video for you guys i haven't done a tag video in like ages literally <laughs> i used to love doing tag videos all the time i used to do them at least like once a week or once like every two weeks or something so um i found one on bad mad's channel um bad mad she's part of a group that I'm in Facebook and um, she's also a beauty youtuber she's a beauty and lifestyle I think youtuber so I'm gonna link her video down below so you guys can check it out I'm not sure who started it but let's get to it number one is how do you prepare for videos and how many times a week or month do you film well to prepare for my videos it really much depends on what video I want to film um, Everything depends on the mood and the time and what's going on at that moment, um, to be honest with you. Like, I don't do too much preparation, but it all depends on what's going on at the moment. If I have the time, more likely than not, I will be trying to figure out, you know, all types of videos that I can film and stuff. When I don't have time, that's when it gets crazy because I just don't want to film because I don't have the time so I just feel like so overwhelmed um that I don't want to do anything but other than that like if I can what I try to do is I this is what I've always done for a really long time what I have always done is that I will try to get a day like a certain day in the week or every two weeks where I film a massive amount of videos or at least two three or maybe four videos that day um and then I'll have content for like the next week or two weeks. You know what I mean? Like the ideal for me would be to film every week and then have content at least three times a week. But it doesn't always work like that. Number two is how long does it take you to record and edit? Um, it depends. If I'm filming just like one video that day, it might be something quick. Um, the video that I did filming this look that I have, it took way over an hour to do. So then I have to now like edit and condense that, which is going to take me a little bit of time to edit. Um, but if I'm doing like, let's say like eight videos that day or something like that, it's going to take like half of my day or almost all of my day, um, to film that. So it all depends, you know, the amount of videos I'm going to do or what video I'm going to do. Number three, what is your favorite drugstore and high-end brand? And like I said, I never prepare for videos, so this is a problem right here. Um, my favorite drugstore brand. I think I have to go with Maybelline. There's probably more that I like, but I think I'm going to go with Maybelline just because I love their Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. I really, really love it. So I'm going to have to go with Maybelline for that. And then high-end, I think I'm going to have to go with Too Faced because, number one, Too Faced packaging takes the cake. Like, I love their packaging. I love everything. And I really love their products, too. So I think I'm just going to have to go with those two brands. Number four, what is your most expensive beauty product? Oh, my God. That's really hard. I have no idea. I don't know what my most expensive beauty product is. I would say probably an eyeshadow palette or of some sort. I'm not exactly sure. I really don't know, to be honest with you. Number five, what motivates you to create content? To be honest, guys, what motivates me to create content is that I love this so much that I just can't stop. Like when I'm not filming or when I don't have content, I feel so sad like I just feel like out of place because I just fell in love with this so much that that's pretty much my only motivation like I'm always thinking about when I'm gonna film I'm always thinking about what's gonna be my next videos and I always want to get more creative and do things like that but I'm not always able to but I really really love it so that's what motivates me to be honest is that I just love this so much number six is what is your favorite app to edit pictures I would probably have to say if it's an app probably facetune if it's on the computer pick monkey um I'm not too big I really want to learn how to edit pictures better I'm not too big on doing that if I do go on facetune it's probably just to smooth out the face a little bit and things like that it's never anything too drastic so to be honest with you I mean it's either facetune or pic monkey 
that's it i don't i don't know how to use any of the other stuff number six uh no number seven what is your goal for this year regarding your youtube channel my goal every single year pretty much is growth um I haven't been too consistent how it probably should be, even though I know consistency isn't the only thing that goes into YouTube. But um, my my overall goal every single year is growth because I do want to grow my channel. I don't necessarily need it to grow to millions of subscribers, but I do. I would like it to grow a little more than what it is. Number eight, what influencers do you watch or follow for inspiration? So there's a lot of people that I watch and follow that I love, but my top two favorite are Melissa Parada, which is Honey Bee Philosophy, and Michelle1218. Those are my absolute favorites. Um, Candy Johnson is also one of my very, very, very favorites. I love Candy Johnson. Um, I've met Candy Johnson in person twice. I've the two times that I met her, I absolutely loved her. Um, so Candy Johnson is one of my number one OG YouTubers. Michelle1218, Melissa Parada, which I absolutely love. Melissa's probably like one of my top favorite people. I absolutely love her. I, I'm The thing is that with her, um, I mesh with her a lot. Like we we there's a lot of things that we have in common so i just love watching her i just love it like she's i just love it i just love watching her relationship with melissa has become more than just like a follower like i i feel like she's one of my friends you know um who else do i watch there's several people that i really like and i'm sorry if i'm forgetting your names and i'm sorry if i'm forgetting i love dulce candy i've also met her she's amazing um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people, but, um, yeah, those are my main, my main people. Number nine, besides makeup, what else are you passionate about? So I'm very passionate about music. Um, everyone in my family is a musician. Well, my immediate, my nucleus, me, my husband and my children were all musicians. My dad wished he could be a musician. He adores music. So I'm like that. Also, my mother sings um even though she's not a musician or anything like that or didn't live off of that but she does sing very very well i can sing i play the piano um i'm very passionate about that and i'm also passionate about reading there's several things i'm passionate about the most passionate i'm about music i'm about reading and education completely passionate about it. education slash social work which is what my degree is in number 10 what is one makeup trend that you have disliked um i the thing that comes to mind is the feathered eyebrows i don't know how long that lasted for but i really did not like that um what else was there i don't know if there's i can't think of anything else right now but i hated the feathered eyebrows and what else i wish there was something else i don't remember Number 11, if you had the opportunity to collaborate with one brand, which would it be and what would you create? I'm going to have to say Too Faced because I really, really love all their packaging and all that stuff. And I would probably either create a palette or definitely lippies because I'm a big lippy person. I love lipstick. I love liquid lipstick. I love I'm, I'm a big lippy person. Like that's my my favorite makeup product are lipsticks so i would probably either create like a lipstick collection or an eyeshadow palette number 12 who or what inspired you to start youtube i started youtube way back in 2012 i've been on youtube almost eight years now um to be honest with you I don't think a specific person inspired me to start youtube what inspired me to start it was that I started watching YouTube. I was um, a stay-at-home mom of my first son at the time. And I started watching YouTube just like, I don't remember what I looked for. And then one thing led to another, pretty much, is how it happened. Um, I remember that Blair was one of the first people that I watched. Um, I don't know if I was looking for like a nail tutorial or a nail video. I, I just don't remember. I was looking for something and then I ended up stumbling upon the beauty community. 
and i was like wow but this is like a whole world i was like this is like a whole community like a whole thing <laughs> so i really really loved that and i fell in love with it like i can't even explain it to you um and then i started thinking i've i've never wanted like i never wanted to like anybody to find me or me to do this and i was like so embarrassed and what are people gonna think but i ended up you know deciding that if this is something i really like and other people do it why can't i do it you know what i mean so that's kind of what inspired me to start it because i was really really in love with the community i really wanted to do it um i couldn't picture myself like if you go back to my first video i'm like completely different of what i am now on camera and that happens to mostly everybody um very few people enter this like all oh, you know it you know i was born to be on camera not everybody enters it like this most people are like freaked out at first and then they end up you know falling in love with the whole ordeal um number 13 what beauty products do you use on a daily basis well to be honest with you what i'm using now on a daily basis is skincare something that's really weird that i would have never thought that i would ever get to that point because you guys know that i don't i have never had a skincare routine which i know i should but i have never had it um and recently i've gotten more into the skincare thing and right now during quarantine i don't really wear a whole face of makeup every single day i can tell you that every single day i probably wear lip balm and i wear like moisturizer or face serums or things like that on a daily basis right now if this if we were on a regular if this was like a regular time i would probably tell you that i wear on a daily foundation mm -hmm. mascara definitely lipstick that's always part of my daily and a little bit of concealer probably number 14 if you could use only three beauty products for the rest of your life what would they be okay <laughs> i say lipstick 100 percent lipstick foundation and mascara i think those would have to be my three lipstick foundation and mascara <laughs> Number 15, tag three beauty gurus. All right, I'm going to tag Melissa Parada. I'm going to tag Michelle. Um, and I'll probably tag someone else. <laughs> I don't know. But I will tag, I will definitely tag people. I, I might tag like some older friends of mine from YouTube. Like, I don't know if you guys remember Aggie or if you guys remember Veronica or Valerie. I might tag them and see if they film it. We'll see. All right, guys, I love you guys. That's the end of this tag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine yards, and I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye, my loves.